Whether you're a novice gardener or an experienced farmer, if you're interested in permaculture, you'll want to look into adding these five plants to your garden. Their long-lasting, low-maintenance characteristics will make it easier for you to spend more time enjoying your produce and less time worrying about your garden success. Once you have these plants in your backyard, you'll be able to enjoy the best of both worlds, a beautiful garden that doesn't require much work from you. You may be wondering, how do I make my own permaculture garden? Luckily, creating one doesn't mean you're limited to a small selection of plants. There are an abundance of options from which to choose. Here are some of our favorites. 1. Mint. Mint is the one plant on this list that everyone will recognize. Its uses are endless. You can make a sauce to eat with lamb, or brew it into a tasty herbal tea. Mint is rich in nutrients, good for masking bad breath and can even relieve indigestion. You've probably already heard about how mint can spread like a weed. That makes it a great living mulch to place underneath taller plants. Bees love mint flowers too, but the smell repels many less desired types of bugs. So it's a win-win. 2. Strawberries. Strawberries make for a sweet treat that keeps coming back year after year, as long as you give them the right growing conditions. And unlike some other annual berries, like raspberry, you won't have to fight through brambles and thorns to get to them. In addition to being a favorite fruit, Strawberries also spread out on the ground as a living mulch and help to retain water on those hot, sunny days. 3. Asparagus. The common asparagus plant makes a great permaculture crop, but it does take time to grow. It will be two or three years after you initially plant crowns or seeds before you can start to harvest your first stocks. However, your asparagus will only keep growing back bigger and better each year afterward. Asparagus is a great permaculture plant since it's so low maintenance once it gets established. It will continue producing food year after year. And since it's hardy and adaptable to a wide variety of climates, it makes a great addition to most gardens. Asparagus is especially worth having as a companion plant alongside tomatoes. Asparagus repels plant parasites called nematodes in the soil that can harm tomatoes. Meanwhile, tomatoes repel asparagus beetles that feed on the roots of the plant. You haven't truly tasted asparagus until you've harvested it straight from your garden. Store-bought asparagus is usually quite woody and dried out in comparison. If it's one of your favorite vegetables, it's worth planting yourself a little patch. 4. Hazelnut. Hazelnuts can grow as either bushes or small trees. They make great windbreaks on their own and form a great permaculture guild, or grouping of plants and trees, with larger trees, like apples. These trees can tolerate shade, as well as create a neutral buffer to separate plants that don't do well adjacent to one another. They produce plenty of high-calorie nuts that can be eaten raw, roasted or used to make oil or flour. Hazelnuts will live for up to 50 years and make a great addition to your food forest. 5. Kale. Kale is a cool season leafy vegetable that resides in the Brassicaceae family, mustard family, along with cabbage and broccoli. Kale is often grown as a food source, but can also be grown as an ornamental. While many of us think of kale as a leafy green, it actually comes in a variety of colors, including green, but also blue, purple, red, and white. To grow kale, it is best to plant either early spring or late summer, as this plant grows best before and after the heat of summer has had its go-around. However, higher quality kale is usually produced from late summer plantings because kale quality is enhanced with a light frost and can continue to grow even after a light freeze. Harvesting of kale can continue until a severe freeze has set in. When selecting your permaculture plants, try to choose plants that work well together and require minimal effort, weeding, watering and fertilizing. Don't forget to evaluate your own growing conditions and pick the plants that make the most sense for your own garden. Choose plants that improve the soil, attract beneficial insects and wildlife, or provide synergistic benefits to other crops that you're growing. Best of all, try to fit in some permaculture plants that produce food you enjoy eating. You don't have to create your entire permaculture garden at once. You can add a few new plants to your backyard and go from there. In a few years, you'll have established a fantastic permaculture garden. And if you need some help planning your garden, check out our other videos for more information.